Today we're drinking Bud Light Platinum Seltzers. It's time to get Monday drunk. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with another video on this series of trying every single flavor of a specific canned drink. And today's another seltzer. We got three different flavors, like Corey said, of these Bud Light, what are these just like extremes? Yeah, what is it called? <laughs> platinum. New Bud Light Platinum Seltzer, made for the night. Oh, Bud Light Platinum is like their more expensive They're high alcohol beer. Right? Yeah. So this is their seltzer version. Uh, Bud Light, dear friends of the show, they love us probably. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Like lie. Let's get into this. If you like these videos where we try all these flavors, the playlist is linked below. This guy's literally shaking, he needs alcohol so bad. Uh, so don't forget to check out the other videos and let's get into it. What's our first one? First up, we've got Bud Light Platinum Seltzer Citrus. This is their hard, hard seltzer. 8% alcohol by volume, made with agave. So that's the big kicker. Two weeks ago we had ones that weren't really seltzers, but they were higher alcohol, or higher calories and way less alcohol. Yeah. These are less calories and way more alcohol. Well, more calories than normal seltzers. For sure. Less calories than those. Yes. So still 170, so still high on the high end for it, that's a good seltzers. Point. But it's because of the boost. But the 8% alcohol. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Can I point out one thing before we get into these? I have nothing I want more. On the can it says beer, Ale in Texas, in in parentheses. The f does that mean? Right, he underneath the recycling logo. So this is considered beer. Oh. Unless you're in Texas, we like to call it ale. We like to call it ale. No, they don't. <laughs> You'll never find Whoa. a Texan who says Why? that. Why? It seems like a state that loves calling it beer. If there's any state that calls yeah. things beer, mm -hmm. it's Texas. Mm -hmm. They're not calling it ale. That's too pretentious for them. Insane. That was a weird pop, right? Yeah, it really was. It's an agave pop. Yeah. That's the ale. Did the band get back together when we did that? Oh, I think these are tasty. So my immediate thought was, that doesn't taste like it's 8%. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what I wanted. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if, if you drank six of these, you're going to be feeling all right. I'm a fan. All right. Not very seltzery, which we've talked about recently because... Best quality. You obviously love bubbles. I just love Topo Chico yeah. bubbles. Uh, I like talking about Topo Chico bubbles. I'm a, I'm a bit anti-bubble just for the burnt factor because I'm only drinking these by the uh, dozens. <laughs> so, yeah, sure, if you want to have one like a little boy, yeah. then I guess the bubbles are cool. When are you going to transition to stop? Why are you even drinking? You don't even have any joy of drinking. You're just trying to get drunk. Just get a syringe already, man. Just start shooting the alcohol Wait, straight Wait, can you your... do that? Probably. Then I'm in. Start boofing at least. As soon as Bud Light starts selling Alcohol syringes, <laughs> I'm gonna get them. Imagine if that's uh, a video in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. What's that? What's that? But I do, I do like that they're not very bubbly and yeah. the taste is still there and mm -hmm. it's high alcohol, but I'm not like feeling like it tastes like crap. I can't believe how like smooth these are. These are fantastic. I thought it was gonna have more of a bite. You know like Monaco's and like high alcohol like stuff we've had in the past. There's a bite to it. There's a bite. For this high of an alcohol percentage, like there's no bite. No bite. Yeah, these are, this is fantastic. This is a weird career choice we've made. Well, you know, we're, we're pretty deep. <laughs> All right, what's our second flavor? Next up, we've got Blood Orange. A little worried about this, I'm not a big Blood Orange fan. Every now and again, did you know this? That Blood Orange is... is English accent? Did you know this? Did you know this accent? <laughs> no, because my English accent would be poorer than yeah, how it yeah, came yeah, out, that's right? That's true. I'd be Cockney, is that the poor version? I don't know. Every now and again, I'll go to the grocery store, and from the exterior, blood oranges and regular oranges look exactly the same-ish. When it's a big orange, it's it a looks a lot orange. like a blood orange. And then I'll yeah. get the blood orange, and then I'll open it, and then you see it's all red, and then when I make my juices, they taste way worse. I don't it's really bitter. like blood it's orange. It's bitter. So, so that's the thing. I think like the idea of a grapefruit and the idea of a blood orange, it's like all juicy and looks like like bright red looks great, looks and that's cool. very bitter and like not that great. Right, right. Stick to clementines, man. Stop, stop trying to so cheat yourself. But we'll see. I'm not. I'm not gonna discount this yet. We'll see if it's good. Yeah, let's drink these five cars. Cheers. 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 Oh, okay. No, I like that. That's 
That's the perfect amount of blood orange. I am That's like, how I like blood orange. I'm kind of disturbingly shocked how much I like these. You and me both, dude. You know, like you can tell by the raise and pitch of my voice. <laughs> yeah, there's so much of me that like wants to be like, uh, you know, they're like, I guess if that's your thing. But I like genuinely, the, he, the, this is the saddest part. These are the least seltzers. I, when a seltzer is really good to me, it's because it's not a, it doesn't taste like a seltzer. Unless it's Topo Chico bubbles. <laughs> you know what I mean? When we had the Natty Light ones. Yes. It yes. was that exact thing of like, I expected just so much bite, so much bitterness, so much like seltzer. There's, a, I can't believe I'm saying this, Bud Light Platinum, there's a smoothness to these. She's on TikTok. <laughs> no, these are great, dude. These are really, really good. Well, isn't that a good like term? They're smooth. They are. It's, it's spot I, I, on. I feel dude. like I'm in a beer commercial. I feel like, like they smooth. This. I feel like they. I don't know how they like worked their way into the zeitgeist of society. I'm stumped. But I feel like we they need to be dialed back a bit. And in the yeah. weirdest way. The mainstream alcohol companies, Bud Light, mm -hmm. Natty Light, mm -hmm. are the ones to, to peel it back to where people actually want it. I agree. I, I feel like we're compasses for what people really want. I think so too, we're the everyday man. We're the everyday We man. go to the liquor store and we're like, okay, what are people actually enjoying and drinking? And not allured by just like ads, ads, ads. Right. You said something that sparked an idea in me. You know how the Hunger Games work? They send, yeah, yeah. They send in a bunch of children to fight to the death. Yeah. I kind of want right. the seltzer companies to have to do that. I'd be sick. And I, not even just one winner. Let's send in all these seltzer companies, right? And let's have there be like six winners and those are the only six seltzers there's allowed to be. But either way, very excited. Blood very orange, good, and it's, the reason I love it is it's not too blood orangey and it's not too seltzer -y. Wow. <laughs> Which is so sad, that's like what it is. All right, what's our last one? Last up, we got Bud Light Platinum Seltzer, Wild Berry. Damn. Damn. God, we're, cheers. I won't say anything again. Oh, not big wild berry. Yeah, though. I think that's what, it, that one is the most wild berry. Yeah. Like it's the, the flavor, wow, it's way more just like, juice concentrate than it is the smooth, these other two don't go, that is blood orange. Like it's like yeah. kind of like calling in the back, it's sitting in the back row. This guy got to class first and is shouting at the professor. Yeah, yep, Jesus you're 100% right. Rice. Oh, natural baby. Front stage is screaming in his face. Wild, wild berry, wild berry, wild berry. Yeah, dude, I want something a little more domesticated. You don't have to be in the wild all the time, you no, know what I mean? That's the worst one. I'll tell you what, if you would like a bronze medal, yep. sit down. Also, I'd rather have Halle, Halle Berry than that. Yeah, dude. Meet swordfish. Swordfish, dude. Little Sean was like, I have butter. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I like to imagine little Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I think that makes you a pedophile. It is. All right. Well, um, in these episodes, we like to rank these uh, third through first. I don't know why I went backwards. I guess because the Olympics. I don't know. They do it in that order. Uh, before we do that, let's do a shout out. Let's do it. PayPal shout out. PayPal shout out. PayPal shout out. One of the best ways to support Number Six with Cheese is to drop a PayPal donation. We do the show five days a week. We're using all the funds that we get from the show to kind of put it back into the show, to get the food and the alcohol, to do all the marketing, and to be able to like create the show. So some people don't want to sign up for a monthly Patreon subscription, which we completely understand. You know, you got Netflix and Hulu and HBO Max and Pornhub. You can't do them all, dude. So if you just want to do a one-time donation to the show, it's one of the best things you can do as a human being. So you can go on there. It's linked below. It's also in our banner on our YouTube channel. Click the PayPal link, go on there and just throw us a donation. It's really nice too because like there's no fees and stuff like that. And so if you want to support the show and you're a big PayPal or Venmo person, PayPal owns Venmo. So they're linked. So if you got Venmo cash, just use that. Um, so shout out to the people that have done that. It is that's a big one. We really have. We've had like hundreds of dollars. Hundred, a couple like two hundred dollar ones. I'll wake stuff. up all home over like a Tuesday morning and be like, two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh dude, I might be able to survive. You start dancing and stuff. Start dancing. Yeah. And then you're great. like, wait, rent's a lot more than that. <laughs> And I goes like, I'll be real dance if it was $1,200. But anyways, uh, it's linked below. Thank you to everybody that's done that. Uh, if you know how to use a keyboard or the um, like the keyboard on your phone, uh, you'll know how to use PayPal. It's really great. You just punch in a number, hit send, done. Done, dude. Not gonna happen. Okay, you. No. Well, one of us is gonna have to do it. This is what you guys woke up to watch today. I knew you were like, I really need to know what the best flavor of those Bud Light Platinum Seltzers is. And today is no different. We're gonna do it. We're gonna tell you. Uh, Olympic Committee. Blast that shit, dude. Thanks. All right, uh, Corey, why don't you go first? Why don't you give us your podium, your bronze, your silver, and your gold? All right, let's go. Let's uh, let's start off with this. I'm gonna go bronze medal, barely 
deserves it. <laughs> Some would say doesn't. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna go wild berry, essentially trash. Oh. You are gonna clap. Still so You know what? Can we just give them a DQ? DQ, they got false this false start. False start. False start. Guess draft. what? Out of here, no bronze medal. Bronze medal goes to me and you for putting in the Thank work. Thank you. You know, we do work day. hard. This is an edit and we got here. I'm really surprised by the silver. I'm going to go silver medal citrus, which is unbelievable to me, mainly for the fact that I can't believe gold medal is going to freaking blood orange, baby. I, I had the whole soliloquy story about how I don't like blood orange, and then I tasted this and I was like, guess I do. What is a soliloquy? <laughs> is that like uh, some sort of poem in shorter form? I don't know. I asked you. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I, sometimes I just use words that I think make me sound smart. That's what I do, and you call me out on it. Soliloquy is used in drama, and it is a speech spoken by a character to reveal his or her inner thought. Yeah, they do. And you. Jesus Christ, you look. Racket. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I just worked out. Oh Romeo, Romeo. You're a bitch. This is the second self, maybe the third. I don't even know. I don't know. I, I forget that we have the exact same podium. Rare. That one. Bye. You disqualified. You did a bunch of drugs. You're like Russia. You're not allowed to have the flag fly, right. and you're not allowed to even be in the Olympics. Go be the ROC, dude. Silver medal to Citrus. Uh, shout out to Silk. You deserve that. That's very tasty. I can't even believe. I mean, you know, I like it so much. I'm gonna take a sip. How's it taste? I genuinely enjoy that. I can't believe that. And the shocker of the Monday, dude. Gold to blood orange. Dude, yeah. I'm so surprised. Like, I, but at the same time, it's kind of like a, a backhanded compliment because the reason I like that is because it doesn't taste that much like a blood orange and it's not that seltzery. Right. So I think I just don't like seltzer. It's like when I like guys, it's like when I meet a guy, oh, you're a great example of this. Don't. It's like when I meet someone who is in a frat and I'm like, I really like you. I'm surprised I like you that you were in a frat. The thing right. I like about you most is that you don't act like you were in a frat. Yeah, that's you know what I mean. Absolutely. Well, like, like the thing up, I like about you most is that you don't act like you're a blood orange. I literally, growing up in Michigan, was was like prone to hate people from Ohio. I'm engaged to one, and I'm around you constantly. Ohio is such a part Notice of my life. Notice he didn't say he liked me. <laughs> he just said he's around. I said me. the bare minimum to get through that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that's so true. Shout out to Michigan, <laughs> Ohio. And <laughs> guys, let us know if you guys have had these before. I said guys twice in a sentence, which makes no sense. Yeah, that's all right. What's your favorite flavor if you have? And if you want to hang out with us Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're in luck because we make videos every single weekday. Um, I'm going to have some more of the blood orange on this outro. Me too. And we will see you <laughs> very soon. Sure. Uh, get that girl a whisk. I'll have a drink. We have one. <laughs>